a form of nutrition with a long tradition and a bright future. It probably all started with some grain mash, which was left too long over an open fire. Today, baking is a traditional craft, albeit employing the latest methods combined with the experience and the fine personal touch of a baker. The basic ingredients of bread are flour, water, and salt. To get a loose, tasty bread, you add yeast. The ancient Egyptians let dough ferment. In 430 BC, Herodotus wrote that it was a simple pleasure for the Egyptians to let their dough spoil before they baked it. This was his description of the resting of the dough before the baking process. This allowed the flat pancake to evolve into the bread form as we know it today. The type of grain used determines the color of the bread. Wheat for white bread, rye for dark bread, and a grain blend for mixed breads. Organic crop growing is essential for obtaining the best quality. This holds for older wheat types as well, such as einkorn, emmer, and barley, which add to the taste variety. In order to obtain high quality bread, it is very important to observe the proper grinding of the grain. The grinding by hand was inefficient, laborious, and even painful. This can be seen by the severely worn kneecaps of skeletons found by archaeologists during their excavations in Egypt. This was the reason that various mills were constructed. They made it much easier to efficiently obtain the required amount of grain. In Vienna, a district of the city along the Danube River is still called Kaisermüll, Emperor's Mill where the emperor had chip mill grinders constructed in order to provide the capital with flour. Bread has always been virtually indispensable for sustaining human life. Therefore, the baker's vocation became one of the most important. Very early on, a baker's guild was established. It regulated the baker's profession, starting with their training, the quality control of their work, up to their retirement provisions. The pretzel, an age-old symbol of praying hands, has remained the emblem of the Baker's Guild to present day. The requirements of a baker have changed over the centuries. The goal, however, has remained the same, simply to make good, healthy bread. In 1930, Anton Haubenberger opened a small bakery in Petzenkirchen, Austria. With the increasing posterity in Europe, the demand for fresh bread continued to increase. This inspired the master baker Anton Haubenberger III to experiment with various dough blends. In 1984, he found what he was looking for. He was able to produce frozen pre-fermented dough, which perfectly corresponded to the demands of the public for readily available tasty bread. In order to meet the increased demand and the quality requirements, 
Hauge's invested in state-of-the-art production facilities, combined with the know-how of the traditional bakers, who are responsible not only for the finishing touches, but to ensure the rigorous international quality standards are met. The characteristics of the grains are continually changing. They are influenced by changing climatic and environmental conditions. Therefore, it is important that the baker continually monitors the automatic blending processes of the production and, if necessary, make adjustments for the respective flour. Now, quality begins with the grinding. The consistency of the grain size has always been a quality standard. Modern industrial bakeries, the supply, the storing of the flour, and the spices are very important as well. Quality and hygiene are constantly monitored. Taking nature and our environment into consideration is becoming increasingly important and one of the essential issues of the 21st century. more ingredients for baking bread are being grown organically. By using separate storage areas, care is taken that organic remains organic. An additional vital factor for the production of nutritious bread is the oven used to bake it. For thousands of years, bread obtained its taste by being allowed to rest on a hot stove. Hobbies has employed this knowledge to create a modern stove oven that brings this traditional taste to the supermarket. Combined with the innovative frozen dough, people today can enjoy fresh bread of the best quality and taste, just like our ancestors, and this around the clock. However, it is not only the taste of the bread that is important, but its form as well. Not only the French, but also the Egyptians who invented it love the baguette. It fits easily into the oven and can be broken effortlessly into pieces without using a knife. The kipfel, this crescent-shaped biscuit inspired by the well-known Turkish symbol, was created as a reminder of the Turkish wars as well as to ease the fears of the people. The Bible, this biscuit with its round form, is a traditional Christian symbol for eternal life. Naturally, along with the form of the bread, the integrity of the baker is important to the customer. As late as 1773, a Viennese baker was still punished for reducing the weight of his bread to the disadvantage of his customers. The punishment was called Bekerschufe. the final decisive factor is the special ability of the baker to bring the bread into the desired form and within an acceptable amount of time. A particular challenge is the traditional moldflesel, poppy braid, that, despite all the technical advances, still has to be made by hand. The Hauby bakers are able to make a dough braid in about two seconds. How quickly do you think you can do it? We invite you to try. And please remember that old saying, Craftsmanship is not only important, but is the golden base.